you get on the road, you just start doing bad habits in here. I've waited so long without drinking this. And now here we go. There we go. Now it starts from here. That's <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be able to quit. Don't be a baby! Sorry that you're right. Actually, my question is why do you have a drone? Why do you have a Philadelphia! Family YouTube time. What's happening? Today is a good day. Super Street's in. Super excited to see that. One and two. Ouch. Nope. <sighs> Thumbs feeling better, but still, it's not, doesn't feel good to grasp stuff. Cool. Got some bungs. Me and Chris are gonna make a custom harness bar next week. So we needed some bungs for the bottom pillars. Yay! Simple, small, fun things. And now, Njuku is wonderful with getting packages here quickly. I must say, every time I order from them, it's like uh, two days at my house. Granted, it's coming from, I think, Florida, so. But still, they're super reliable. The rear uh, diff mounts got placed on back order. Where are you? Where are you? AM digital and analog performance gauges. Boom. Super excited. And then the Bosch O2 sensor. Although, we learned on Sunday that the wiring's already done for this in my car. We just have to find the harness or sensor. Doesn't seem that it's hooked up, so may or may not need this. Still good to have. Stuff. Oh, the bung for the O2 sensor. Oh, I opened it the wrong way. AM sticker. Sick, bruh. That's the top of it. Uh, let's see. Bada bing, bada boom. Looks like it was punched in. Bam! Wide band, air fuel ratio. Should be cool. So, yeah. How much was that? Oh, this thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like 10 bucks. How much was the wide band? Oh, my camera's gonna die. Are you serious? This isn't on 10 bucks, this is expensive. Is that the wide band? Yeah. What's it called? Wide band. I thought it was called a wise band. I thought, when I first learned about it, I thought it was a w Y band. <laughs> a why? Why? It comes with a white silver bezel, white face. Gonna keep all black, keep it clean, silky smooth, as always. All right, so today I want to talk about who is your favorite YouTuber. Hello, my friends, I hope your day, as I say every day, is awesome. Before you, well, you can't see this, I just want to let you guys know Adam LZ's videos are so fake. He like kept me as a slave in his room. I've been here for six years. But I finally got the car ready. Um, today's my first drift event I'm ever going to. I'm really nervous, but I'm super excited. I'm so happy with where I am right now in life. I never look back and say I wish I had done things differently. Before I got into YouTube, I really w didn't watch YouTube too much. Before I found my S14, I was looking, looking, and then I um, went on YouTube just to get some ideas for the build, whether I want an S13, S14, etc. And I typed in S14 or S13 because those were my favorite. And um, the, a yellow one came up, a cream yellow one, and I clicked on it. It was Adam LZ's first drift event. I remember watching this and I was like, man, why is he so comfortable talking to a camera? And it kind of confused me, what, why is he doing this? And I really got into watching his videos. I pretty much went back in time and watched all of them up, all of them all, of them, all the way up to recent videos. And 
I just really enjoyed his channel. It made me feel like I was there, part of his a friend group, and I enjoyed almost everything about his videos, even the BMX ones, because, you know, um, they're great videos, and it reminded me of back when I used to skateboard and do all those types of stuff. It brought me back. And when he brought Tanner Fox into um, one of his videos, I thought Tanner was funny, and then it brought, it drew me to his channel as well. And this is kind of like how I fell into watching the people I watch now. So I started watching Tanner Fox and Adam LZ. Um, and again, I work, um, I work an office job. So it's tough sometimes working an office job at a young age because you feel like you should be doing something else. You still have a kid, you're still a kid inside and you're behind a desk doing reports and paperwork. So watching these videos brought me back and made me feel that I was a part of their group or a part of their friend circle and it really helped, you know, helped me during that time and period. And that's when I started, there's a fly around here. That's when I started to get the idea of, I'm gonna kill that fly. That's when I started to get the idea of maybe I could do that. Maybe I could um, create a channel and, and pretty much you know, do exactly what they're doing and and have fun. Oh my God, I'm with the floor. That was that would be cool if um, you know I could do that and try to uh, figure out my own style. And during one of um, Tanner's videos, he mentioned he was um, being like Casey Neistat, and he kept mentioning this, and I was like, All right, well, why why is he saying this, and what does that even mean? So from there, I went and checked out. Casey's channel and I remember when I first watched his uh, intro I was like why do people watch this but the second the intro got done whether I think it's like a two or three minute I was like I need to see more and from there it was just like a ongoing chain of I watched every single video so um, one of the best things I like about Casey I love innovation so I like when people take one thing as a specific idea or a specific way of doing things and they make it their own they flip it and they make it uh, their own style of doing it and I really think Casey did that for vlogging across the board I mean everyone tries to be like him I try to be like him you hear the same music the same style and honestly who doesn't want to be like Casey I mean everything he does is in a brilliant way in a brilliant manner love the way his editing styles and I don't find neg any a negative on replicating someone else's style to create your own in life technically we are representations of everything around us everyone and everything around us makes us who we are if that makes sense so watching Casey's vlogs um, introduced me to Roman Atwoods and Roman's one of me and Monica's favorite channels to watch together it's probably Monica. Who's your favorite YouTuber? It's Roman Atwood. That's what I thought. But back in the day, who's your favorite YouTuber? Roman Atwood. Roman Atwood. Yeah. Roman Atwood. Yeah. So, at the time, we like to watch Roman together. It's something we do almost during, almost every time we have dinner together, we put Roman on. We all sit down and watch him. Um, Lena likes it because of the kids, Kane and Noah. I like it because I like any type of, I almost like any type of vlogging. That's, that's the best part about um, my favorite selections of YouTubers. It's not really car specific, it's more so personality specific. Positive, uplifting, pr um, you know, productive I guess you could say. All positive stuff. So in no order at all, Adam LZ, Casey, Tanner, and uh, Roman are probably my top. No, no, no. Uh, order at all. Tanner, I just, I like watching Tanner when he's, uh, I guess they call scoot, scoots? Rides, I'm gonna say ride. I like watching Tanner ride because he's sick and nasty and he's funny, but um, yeah, so probably sole purpose, if, if this ever goes anywhere, I pretty much have to thank Adam LZ for some, me finding his videos because this is, that he's really the only reason, um, this ever sparked my mind, as well as Monica, of course. She told me almost like six years ago, no, not six, four years ago to start a YouTube channel a long time ago and film everything I did, and I thought she was crazy. And I was like, no, I'm never gonna do that. Now, here we are. 
we're getting ready to go to the beach. Um, right. we're, we still gotta pack up. I gotta go clean my car, get it all ready to rock and roll. Tomorrow we're gonna head out to Long Beach Island. Super excited, vacation. We haven't had a vacation since, I think right before Christmas we went to Florida. Um, so it's fine. It's good to finally have a vacation, get some cool footage. We're going, we're doing a bunch of things while we're down there because it's family beach week. Um, we're doing uh, paddle boarding, um, pizza on the beach. Uh, we want to go to like this uh, water park, hopefully, if possible. And it's always fun hanging out with all our cousins. Should be a good time. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Oh yeah, I want to know in the comments below, please put in um, your top three YouTubers. What, what what YouTubers do you guys like and the reasons why? Oh, I'm so bummed. So the, the dude with the A86 finally got back to me today and then I asked him if he could send me pictures of the interior. Waited like four hours and then I pretty much asked him when I can come by to check it out, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's already sold. So rare that one pops up and it just slipped out of my grasp. A86, this month maybe next month all right guys i gotta go clean my car get it ready for the beach prep work starts now happy yeah happy happy wednesday for real yesterday i said tuesday but happy wednesday guys mm -hmm.